As the United States slowly reopens, travelers are adjusting their vacation plans accordingly. James Gilbert spoke with a travel agent who says the regional approach is giving customers quite a few options. March and April were quiet at the Rochester Airport. But as the warmth has returned, so have the travelers, according to airport director Andy Moore. We expect to see that continue uh, over the next couple weeks and moving into the next couple months. The airport went from over 50 flights a day down to about 10. But summer is their busiest time and sanitation is king. The airport is as clean and sanitized and disinfected as it's ever been ever before. Andy Moore remains optimistic that travelers will continue to fly. That optimism relies, though, on confidence that you can come to an airport and fly without catching the virus. There's certainly going to be a recovery of travel, but we're not going to be anywhere near pre-COVID-19 levels till 2022. Craig Curran is president of the Dupre Group of Travel and says customers are gaining confidence one region at a time. Highest confidence to travel is in the middle of the country. The least level of confidence is on the two coasts, the west coast and the east coast. And on the east coast, the least uh, confidence is in the northeast. Many countries are welcoming visitors at staggered dates over the next two months and hope to welcome vacationers that have put off their long-awaited trip. There's pent-up demand for that, and people are responding really, really well to this notion of, of dreaming about future travel. They don't want to give that up. James Gilbert. News 8. James, thank you. Experts say that flight prices will remain extremely low for the next 60 to 90 days before demand returns and prices start to creep back up.